Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Today we're gonna get ready to uh, start that series. So the first thing we're gonna need uh, to do is go on the marketplace. So let's go on the marketplace and download the military weapon dark and make sure you select the last version on your project. So in the time of doing that video is 4.27. So add this to your project. We're gonna also use the animation starter pack. So add this to your project. After that, uh, we're gonna need the dynamic crosshair. So I put a link in the description to download the dynamic crosshair. Uh, it has been created by Osman and you can find uh, all the information that you need on the original link that I'm going to put in that video as well. Uh, it's a really uh, useful asset. Uh, so when you have all that, you're going to need uh, to get that dynamic crosshair into your project. So how you do that? Well, on your content, uh, on your download folder, you just copy paste uh, the asset to your project for Unreal Engine. So you can find your project usually in your Unreal Engine project folder on the Windows and you're gonna drop and drag that to content and you should have that appear on the screen. So if you do everything correctly, uh, it should be like this here. It'll be all set and good to go. From here, uh, we're just gonna retarget all the animation that we uh, got from the animation starter pack. So how to do that? Well. We're gonna go to the animation starter pack. I'm gonna select everything like this. I'm gonna remove the showcase, the UE4, the UE4 animation, BS jug, and BS crouch. So when you have all that deselected, you right click on your animation, retarget animation, duplicate and retarget animation asset. In the IK retargeter here, we're gonna select UE4 to UE5. You should have something like this on your screen. We're gonna select where you we want our animation to go. For me, here is gonna be in UE5 and animation. Click OK and retarget. And all your animation should be in that folder now. So as you can see, they're all here. So we have all the animation uh, for us ready to go. So when we have that done, we're gonna create our own uh, character. So to create our own character, well, just go on a third person character folder, go to blueprint. And here, just right click and duplicate and make sure that you name this uh, my UE5 blueprint like this. Or you can name whatever you want. It's not a big deal uh, just to follow along. So I named mine my UE5 underscore BP. After that, you go to the wall setting here on the uh, left on the screen and make sure that on the selected game mode, you the default pound will be my UE5 uh, blueprint and it will be all good. So from this point here, we're just gonna jump really quick in the uh, crosshair. So the crosshair, look at this, so it's calculation to show us uh, basically that the crosshair will be uh, on the screen for us. So you should have something like this if you go in the graph, otherwise you may be uh, starting on that screen here. So if you're on that screen, just go here on the graph you're gonna be here from the thickness here for the variable, we're gonna put five and for the land here, we're gonna put 15. When you have all that set up, you do compile and save and you can close this. We're not gonna need it anymore. Uh, now we're gonna jump in our character here. So we're just gonna open this. So you should have something like this. So it's basic. So from here, we just gonna do the little logic to have this crosshair up here on the screen. So how to make that appear on the screen. So it's quite simple. We're going to search for even begin play like here, select this. And from that here, we are just going to hold S on the keyboard, left click to create a sequence. And I'm going to plug those two together from here, here. I'm just going to drag from pin one. You can drag from any pin you want. It's just, I want to put another code letter here. That it's going to make, uh, it's going to do first thing so I'm just gonna put in pin one here uh, the create for crosshair so from here you're gonna create widget and in a create widget here we're gonna select our dynamic crosshair so it's right here I'm gonna make sure that we promote this to a variable I'm gonna name that variable ref crosshair I'm gonna like this there you go it's right here and actually 
I did it earlier just to do a little test on something. So I'm just going to delete this one and keep the one I just created. Here we go. And from this here, we're just going to add that to the viewport. So add uh, to the viewport like this. So what that does, well, basically when that blueprint is in play, it's going to create the dynamic crosshair, it's going to create a reference, and it's going to add that to our viewport. So now if we do play, we shall not see anything really. You see it's not moving up and down like I mean bigger or smaller, but the crosshair is there. So we're just going to make the little calculation to have this uh, basically uh, move for us on the screen. So how we do that? Well, from here, I'm just going to drag and search for even tick. There we go, like this. And the same thing, I'm going to hold S on the keyboard to do a sequence. I'm going to connect all that together. From this here, uh, we're going to take our reference cross error. We're going to do a get. And from that, we're going to search for our variable. So we're going to search for the spread. And we're going to do a set. I'm going to plug that to zero here. And from the crosshair here, we're just going to search for a map range clamp. So it's right here. We're going to select this. And the value that we're going to put here are already on the uh, link below for the forum where you can find the dynamic crosshair. So the first one here is 450. And the other one is 5. And this one is 80. So from this point here, we're going to drag from the value and search for the vector length right here and it should have something like this and from here we're just going to search for the velocity so if i know how to spell so it's with an e not an o so velocity there we go get velocity so this one here and we should be all set and ready to go just a little trick if you have your things like this for an example and you want to put everything straight in the line just select everything press q and everything is going to be uh, all in line and sharp for us. So now if we do play, we shall have our crosshair that go big and smaller. There you go, like this. Uh, obviously, you can adjust the spread if you want, just to show you how to do that. If we go back to um, our crosshair, go back to the graph here. If you have the spread here, this is a zero, right? But you, you can play with those uh, value to adjust some stuff here. So I'm just going to put, you know, five here just to show you what it's done here. You see the line are a little bit smaller. Uh, it's not the way I like it. So I'm just going to move that back uh, to 15. There you go, like this. And here, obviously, you can play with those numbers. So I'm going to just change this one just to show you uh, what it does. So I'm going to put something like 40 and you see the spread is like way smaller so you can put that if you prefer to you put the number you want play with those numbers to see what the animation is doing for you and uh, take the best for you right so you can compile and save so you have uh, everything here done and ready uh, to go so the next thing we're gonna see in the next video I mean we're gonna start playing with the um, blueprint for the character to make our variables and all that logic that's gonna help us to uh, basically <laughs> do what we need to have our weapon in our hand shooting and the walking animation and all that stuff right so we're gonna do one at a time so i'll catch you on the next one see ya